Hi everyone. After receiving a, quite a few requests, we wanted to provide you with an example of a good cover letter uh, with commentary on why it's a good cover letter. So before we get started, I just wanted to request to please not copy any portion of this cover letter for use in your own cover letter. Uh, if Zicklin students start submitting cover letters that mysteriously use the same phrases or paragraphs, it doesn't reflect well on the Baruch brand. Plus, one goal of submitting a cover letter is to give the reader an opportunity to hear your personal voice in your writing style. So if you are only copying someone else's writing, that's not an accurate reflection of you as an individual, which kind of defeats the purpose. So overall, the cover letter should answer three main questions. Why are you interested in this role? What skills and experiences will enable you to perform that role well? And why are you interested in this company specifically? So as you will see, this cover letter actually addresses all three of those questions, which is great. So one thing I wanna point out before we kind of work our way down is this section here, regarding. So RE is short for regarding. So it says regarding and then the position title. So this is a good way to indicate the position that you're applying for without making it the first sentence of your cover letter. Many cover letters start out with, dear hiring manager, I'm excited to apply for the position ABC that I saw posted on XYZ website. So that isn't necessarily bad, but so many cover, cover letters start off that way. And why be like everyone else if your goal is to stand out? So moving down, as you will see, this, this first paragraph addresses the question for this particular role, why EY? So addressing this question could be the last paragraph of your cover letter instead of the first, but in this example, it serves as part of the student's personal story. So let's read through the first sentence together. So having planned a number of campus events with EY and converse with many EY employees, I understand firsthand how EY has earned the reputation as the fastest growing company and how it has been developing future leaders in the public accounting industry. So here the student is demonstrating their personal interaction with the firm, as well as what key messages they have taken away about the firm. So the second sentence goes on to say, for the, first, for the past few years, I have equipped myself with key skills to work in FSO assurance and look forward to bringing the same professionalism to potential clients and coworkers as EY has done for the industry and the people within. So here the student is making a case for their fit with the organization by linking their skill sets to those used by EY employees. So moving on to the second paragraph, um, I'm not going to read this whole paragraph, but if you want to, um, you can now press pause and, and read the whole thing before we start to talk about it. This paragraph is essentially a walk me through your resume for the student, explaining how they built and refined their interest in financial services assurance. So enthusiasm for a role is just as important as bringing the right skills. Maybe you yourself have noticed in the past, but people typically perform more successfully in roles they gen where they genuinely enjoy the work. Also, in walking us through their career journey, they're highlighting relevant roles they have held. Assurance internship, equity trader and research analyst, and investment account. All relevant to the position to which they are applying. So moving on to the third paragraph here, this sort of um, goes over the student's soft skills. So as we read through, we can see that they're balancing multiple demands as demonstrated by their engagement with their master's program, concurrent with their studying for the CPA and being a student leader. And also in that student leader role, they're of course demonstrating leadership, um, working and motivating a team of their colleagues, all the important skills for working at a public accounting firm, or really anywhere. This fourth paragraph here is basically a recap and kind of a wrap up of the cover letter. Although they are mentioning more skills here, because those skills are not directly 
link to any specific accomplishments, they have less of an impact. So I see this paragraph as um, less compelling, but just serving more as kind of a, a wrap up. And then of course the, the final closing statement, which is, which is pretty standard here for all cover letters. So that's really it for this example. Uh, another useful resource is in the resources section of Zicklin Career Link. It's called Writing the Job Winning Cover Letter. So once you've taken a shot at putting together a draft cover letter, come into the GCMC and we can work with you one-on-one -on -one to refine it further. All right, see you soon.